Guys, I got another great baseball catching tips video for you. And again, we got Doug Vernier and Ryan LaVarnway, two major league guys who are going to spill out some great information about catching. So if you're looking for some catching tips, uh, Ryan's got it covered in this video. I'm telling you, there's some great information. This guy's hilarious too, by the way. You got to watch the video. Again, they've got something real special for you at the end. Another video uh, that is going to be a game changer if you're a catcher or a catching coach. So watch to the end of this video and, and definitely take advantage of that. So let's get into it. Hey guys, Doug Bernier from ProBaseballInsider.com where we give free tips from the pros to you guys. Again, we want to thank Coach Madden from Ugo Pro Baseball for letting us take over his YouTube channel and showing us these videos. All right guys, my name is Ryan LaVarnway and one of the things I get questions about a lot is my player, my young player especially, my high school player is real good at blocking in practice but he has a really hard time taking it into the games. What's the biggest difference and is there a drill that we can do to help him transition from blocking in practice to being able to block in the games? And my, my answer is anticipation, all right? Anticipation and balance, all right? So basically, anytime that you call an off-speed pitch, curveball, changeup, splitter, slider, whatever you call, anything that's a non-fastball, you should anticipate that you're gonna be able to block. And when I say anticipate, I mean you're not on your heels, you're not as low as you can possibly be. Be in your action stance, get your butt up a little bit, find that balance point where you can explode down the block if you, if you have to, as quick as possible, but you're also balanced enough to be able to sit back and catch that ball when you need to. All right, so what I want to do now is show you this catch block drill. You might have seen it before, but the importance of it cannot be understated. All right, your coach is going to mix it up. Either you're going to catch it or you're going to block it, and he's not going to tell you which one is coming in which order. All right, if you block it, focus on getting down as quick as possible. And if you catch it for this drill, I don't want you going down to your knees and catching it. All right, stay in your squat, find that balance point so that you can explode down when you have to to get to that block, but that you're still balanced enough to catch these balls. Let's get it. Read the ball, use your eyes, and anticipate. Find that balance point. Just like in the game, you don't know what, when it's going to come, when it's going to block, but you have to be able to block every pitch and then catch the ones that don't, that don't bounce. All right, so Ryan, so what is, is there a mental trigger? Is there something that, that allows you to get better in the game at blocking? You really just have to have the mindset that anything that bounces, I'm going to throw my body in front of. This is one of the three main pillars of catching. Receiving, blocking, and throwing, all right? We have the three pillar power up, the video, click the link below if you wanna check out the other things. But for blocking, you have to anticipate. You have to have the mindset that nothing's gonna get by me. I'm a wall, and the way to do that is by anticipating. Anytime there's a pitch that you call that might bounce, you have to be ready to block it. So how, do you have to psych yourself up to, ke to, to block balls? Because um, I know that's not, um, it's not something that most people enjoy getting hit by baseballs. I mean, do you, like when you were younger maybe, did you have to psych yourself up to do it? Or how did you prepare to block baseballs? Yeah, guys, the easiest thing in the world to do is to just wave your glove at it and say, hey, shouldn't have thrown it in the dirt. But that's not the mindset of a good catcher. A good catcher is going to be tough. He's going to be brave. You're going to overcome the human fear of things hitting you, all right? So you have to say, I'm blocking this ball. You have to make it a known fact in your mind that nothing is getting by me. If it bounces, I'm gonna keep it in front no matter how I have to do it. You know, you wanna get into perfect blocking form. We talk about that in the uh, Pro Baseball Insider course. Perfect blocking form. But if you have to throw, throw an arm at it, throw, throw a leg at it, throw your face at it, whatever you gotta do, keep that ball in front. If you want to be a good catcher, you want to instill trust in your pitcher and your coach, you got to keep the ball in front. All right, so in a game, let's say you have to block 10 balls in a game. Yeah. How many balls hit your arms or hit something other than your chest protector? A lot of them. You know, it, sometimes it doesn't feel good, but it feels good knowing that you're, you earn the trust of your pitcher and, and you own, earn the trust of your coach and you help your team win by keeping that ball out in front. So if you get a little bruise, it's a battle scar. You know, maybe the chicks think it's cool, uh, but you're going to have some seams. But the most important thing is keeping the ball in front, giving your team the best chance to win. You see guys working hard and it makes you want to work harder, right? That's how as a catcher, that's how as a catcher you earn the respect of your teammates. You take the leadership role by working your butt off and earning the trust of not only your pitcher and your coaches, but all your teammates because you're the guy that when you're on 
the field and everyone's watching the game. You're the only guy that everyone can see the whole time. So give it your give it your best. Anticipate and keep those balls in front. Really. Yeah. And I, I've seen I've talked to many pitchers who get scared when they're the runner at third base in a tight game and they don't trust their catcher to block the ball. Now all of a sudden they're throwing fastballs. They're throwing pitches that a hitter can hit. So if, if you if they, if the pitchers can have that confidence in the catcher with runners at third base, um, then it just makes them a lot more uh, a lot better on the mound. Guys, the catch block drill, all right? When you don't know what's coming, this is the best way to transition from practice and being able to take your good blocking in practice when you know it's going to come to in the game when you don't have any idea which balls are going to bounce. So this catch block drill is the best way to do that. Thank you so much, Doug and Ryan. That's a great video. Thank you so much for sharing with my audience. Guys, if you like this video and you want to see more from Doug and Ryan, give them a thumbs up. Let them know that they did a good job. Um, again, like I said in the beginning of this video, they've got a great video for you guys. Um, it's called the Three Pillar Power Up. Okay, The three pillars of catching are receiving, blocking, and throwing. And Ryan is going to go in depth and talk about some tips on how to improve all three of those so you can start to dominate behind the plate. All you have to do is click the first link in the description down below. It's going to take you to a page where you enter your first name and your email address. Then you're going to see that video right away. And then along the next few days and weeks, I'm going to send you some great catching information through the email. Be sure to start opening up those emails because it's a bunch of great stuff, a bunch of free stuff. And of course, Ryan and Doug have a workshop coming up soon and I'm gonna notify you on the dates and, and things like that when that is available. Thanks so much guys for watching. Of course, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, take a quick second and hit that subscribe button with the bell notification right next to it. This way you'll be notified every time I upload a new video and I've got some great catching videos coming soon. In fact, Doug and Ryan put together a bunch more videos for me to share with you guys. So if you like this one, be sure to subscribe with the bell on so you're notified every time they upload.